hello hello welcome in and of course special shout out to my youtube coconuts who are watching the replay we love you uh today i'm feeling in the christmas spirit i just got back from my parents house we were listening to some christmas music it was a vibe so i felt like we should break out volume two and do a little christmasy little number for us today so this is really fun she has a big bow on her head um i envision it as a red bow but who knows maybe it won't be a red bow by the time we're done so um i'm gonna get my little silicone mat ready tuck it behind while everyone starts to trickle in this is my coloring book that i made this is volume two coloring with coco so we will hop right in welcome in welcome in welcome in everybody gather round gather round can feel my voice is a little dry a little raspy but that's okay okay that ain't stopping nothing that ain't stopping nothing got my broommate here ready and we're doing a little Christmas number. Hello, hello. I love you too. Welcome in. Welcome in. Now, I have colored this digitally before. It's one of our best-selling Christmas cards that will be on the website next Friday. So, I have this is the way I colored it digitally. So, we'll see. We'll see if I can get that same super-duper shiny effect that I was able to capture on my iPad. We shall see. We got some stunnings, stunnings, stunnings. So, we'll see if uh, I can put my money where my mouth is when it comes to the, the marker version of this. Um, so, I'm just taking a look at my markers to start figuring out the color selection. Welcome in. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I get my pictures from the coloring books that I make. So these are all from my illustrations that I publish in different volumes of coloring books. This is from the second volume. The last picture is live on TikTok. I just posted it on there. So definitely go check out the video if you want to see how that one turned out. It is up and it is gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Okay. Okay. So for anyone who didn't see the reference, we are we're 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 a little gingered out. We've done a lot of ginger lately. Um so this is my digital illustration that I did. So we're gonna see if I can make it do what it do with some markers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. So let's get started. There's a big face. Usually on my illustrations, the face is a lot smaller. So I hope this marker doesn't fail me. Um, I'm trying to make sure I have an exit strategy <laughs> planned out, an escape route, in case this <laughs> decides to give up on me. <laughs> New to my life, slowly making your way through the YouTube. Love that, love that. Um, you can get the coloring books from the link in my bio. I think I saw someone ask that. Okay. So I have two of this color. So we have a nice backup plan if this one decides to clock out early. Um, I'm going to do a base of rose beige. It's a nice mid-tone brown. Which will allow me to add some light and dark in different areas without it being too overpowering in the direction that we're gonna go so starting with the ear and then I'll make my way through Off to a good start feels like a juicy marker I'm not too worried <laughs> you've been waiting on me all day really oops um boom boom Jazz, so we're shipping out orders. We're shipping about 75 a day. We just got some, um, a new shipment that's coming in tomorrow. So we are rocking and rolling. We got a lot more 
orders than we anticipated. So we're calling in the troops. We're going to have some extra hands here to help us so that we could get through these orders ASAP. But you guys showed up and showed out. Poor Mr. Coco. <laughs> Mr. Coco in there working overtime for you guys. So he's getting through them though. But we obviously are so excited that so many people showed up and supported us with this launch. So we are definitely working to get them to you guys ASAP. We know the people who have gotten them so far are absolutely loving and enjoying them. And we love that. Um, I don't have a digital coloring book, but we have a digital coloring club where every Friday you get weekly downloads. Um, they switch themes every month. Um, and it's a good time, all in all. So if you're interested in digital pages, I encourage you to check that out. I just have to keep it kind of in a contained environment because unfortunately people like to take things that don't belong to them and try and sell it as if they were theirs. So we have to protect that kind of stuff behind a paywall, unfortunately. Because when I had it open to the public, chaos, chaos. These are our hoo markers. Thanks, Desi. All right. Desi and Emerald, I haven't seen Emerald yet, but if she's in here, I pull, I'll put your guys' stuff in the mail either yesterday or the day before. So you guys will get your custom Coco Michelle <laughs> spooky images and a little note for me. So I'm excited for when you get it. I love Copic markers. They are my preferred marker of right now. Um, but I have to admit, I haven't been like hunting for anything new. So, but they're, they're definitely hitting the spot for right now. O-H-U-H-U. Oh, hoo hoo. It's kind of a interesting name. <laughs> and I know when people say it real quick, it's like, what, what did she just say? Some people don't hear that, that first O. So I've seen a lot of people looking for hoo-hoo markers versus O-hoo-hoo. Oh so make sure you catch that O. Um, the markers themselves keep it from looking streaky. These are like a nice quality alcohol based marker. If you use a marker like Crayola or a water based marker, that's when you're going to really experience that streaking. So, these will still streak if you let it dry. So, I try to color in sections so that wherever there is a streak, it kind of goes where I'll be putting a shadow anyway. So that's kind of how I think about it. Sometimes you can't color the whole thing fast enough, so I just try and be strategic. And um, let it dry in the areas that will have shading anyway. Um, I would say... I don't, I don't know if these markers are cheaper anymore because I went to Michael's and I was like, these markers are not cheap. Um, but Artist Loft um, are alcohol-based markers that you can get at Michael's. But I've seen a lot of markers, um, alcohol markers on TikTok shop and stuff. So I would definitely like do some research and see what brands are out there. Because... Um, Unfortunately, like I said, I haven't really been out here trying things out. Um, so I don't have like any firsthand experience to give you like the, the real tea. Um, so there's that. 
but these ohuhus are giving. Let me try and slide this up so you guys can see it over the comments. I have five books. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And the one I'm working in right now is the volume two ohuhu. Okay. So I'm tempted to grab tried and true potato brown, but I think that's too dark. I need something in between. Um, let's see what this is giving. So you can find all information regarding the books on my website, which is linked in my bio. All right. So this looks like a good in between color. Boom. I go live for sometimes five days a week. So not every day, but a lot of days. <laughs> a lot of days. So I'm going to go in. This is Buttercup Yellow. Now I will say that there's another color called Buttercup Yellow that's a different number. And I don't know why they did that. Um, cause there's Y145 called Buttercup Yellow, and then there's Y120 called Buttercup Yellow, and these two colors are not the same. So don't get caught up out there. Don't get caught up. All right, we want the Y145 right now, cause the other Buttercup Yellow is a really pretty pale yellow whereas this one is more skin tone colored so be careful with that this looks like it's gonna start pulling up the color underneath it though i don't like how that's looking scare me sometimes markers get this look where it looks like it's about to start tearing your stuff up like a toddler you know See what y'all was talking about. Okay. I'm just situating my little mat and we're back. So I'm just using flicking motions up into the corner. Just using real sweeping motions. Very loose. Allowing for it to kind of do its thing. And I am just adding some shading throughout to add some dimension. Okay. And again, I am using, well, right now I'm actually using the same color that I use for the base. And I'm just using it on top of the marker that's already dried, which is giving us a shadow look. I love that. <laughs> Once there's only chill night we get. Um, yeah, all markers bleed through um, besides water-based markers. If you're using an alcohol-based marker, it's going to bleed for sure. Um, that's why I use the protective mat behind mine. This came with my markers, but you can use a sheet of paper. Um, you can pretty much use anything just to add that protection because my coloring books are one-sided, so you don't have to worry about this side of the page. Um, you just have to worry about the page behind it. Okay. Giving her a little button nose just adding that in here and we're just trying to work a base so that we can use our color pencils on top to really start to build form and dimension 
to the face. So I'm not too worried. Um, we just want to give the Prismacolors something to hold on to. Some meat and potatoes. Okay. I'm just building the dimension using faster strokes where I don't want it to be too much ink, just light distribution of ink, and just working my way across. Okay. Good evening, good evening. All right. Just shading the temples. She has, you know, must have been inspired by my own forehead. So I'm just... You know, contour that a little bit. You know, justice for the for the five heads. Okay. The finished one I just posted on my page, so go check it out. The one that we worked on last night is there and ready. Hello, hello. I saw somebody coloring in a coloring book <laughs> earlier while I was scrolling through. It was probably like 6 p.m. And I just saw her chat like going into straight mutiny <laughs> because she colored something a way that they didn't want to. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like it's one thing to be on this end, but to be in it, to see all the comments. Because when I'm coloring, I can only catch like every other comment most of the time. But to see everyone was just literally screaming like, no, no, no. Um, because of a choice that she was making in her coloring book, I was like, wow, this is scary. So I hope she's doing well. Because <laughs> I know how stressful that could be. Because sometimes people just get too wrapped up. This is not a sporting event. This is not a sporting event, okay? It's a coloring book. And she was like, oh, sorry, guys. Don't apologize. You got to stand on business. <laughs> it's your coloring book. Tell them to get out and color in front of everybody. Okay. Can't let the chat bully you. You got to stand on business. You did what you did. And you said what you said, okay? She definitely not standing on business. Weak in the knees, stand up. All right, hello, hello, everybody. People are still trickling in and out. I feel like this one is not going to take too long because there's not a lot going on. But the bow, you know, I get fixated, okay? I'm going to be working on that bow, I know. Be putting in work on that. <laughs> we got them right together. Do you put every live you do on YouTube? Uh, not every. Not on purpose. Sometimes when I watch or I download the replay, it skips, like, even the ones that I posted today, like, there was, like, a whole chunk missing. I don't know why TikTok does that. So, sometimes it's, like, too choppy and I can't share it. Um, but if it's in good standing, I try and share it. It just takes a lot of work. Because I gotta, like, kind of skim through and see if there's any major gaps and stuff. So, sometimes I don't catch it, but I'm doing my best. I'm trying. 
um, and I'm using the colors I'm using if you just joined Rose Beige by Ohuhu as well as a little bit of Y145 Buttercup Yellow and BR2 Potato Brown. So, it's good stuff, good stuff. Okay. And it's just really about layering. We want lots and lots of layers. All right. So I think that's a good point for me to start working on the color pencil over her skin. So I will be breaking out the prism colors. This is two tiers. Oh God. So there's this, and then there's this underneath. So usually I only use this for the skin. So I'm gonna get to work, chop chop. My go-tos from the Prism Color are uh, Burnt Ochre. I love peach and light peach, um, as well as the Sienna Brown. Those are like my Holy Grail skin tones. Um, where's my... Oh, I got it empty. This is a really nice sharpener. I got it from a local art store. Um, but to uh, empty this thing out, I'm like, either this is going to explode everywhere or one of my nails is going to pop out. Damn! <laughs> I shouldn't have did it over the picture, but I was trying to prove a point. And I proved it all right. Let me get my little trash bin. I want to wipe it off and end up getting all kinds of streaks on here. Okay. Ain't no thing. Okay. It happened the way that I anticipated it would happen. Spoke that into existence. It's fine. Everything's fine. Now we have a fresh sharpener. <laughs> now she got freckles. Look at that. Happy little accident. Happy little accident. Oh yeah, this vacuum will be cute. I've been trying to like put stuff back after each page. When I don't finish a page, I leave everything as it is so that I know what colors I was using the night before. But then I do a, a desk reset after the page is done. So a nice little desk vacuum would be helpful. You know? So thank you, thank you. Alright. Color this in. I've been in TikTok jail for so long, I don't know what I did to this algorithm. But it doesn't want to show my TikTok shit. Not nobody. Not nobody, but y'all still know where to find me, okay? Algorithm don't even tell in the coconuts I'm live. It's crazy. So I'm going in with burnt ochre and blending some of those shadows. Looking good, looking good. And I'm just adjusting my pressure depending on how much of the pigment I want to cover the page. So in here, I'm using a lot more pressure, softening that pressure as I get over to the lighter areas to get that nice gradient effect. We love that. <laughs> Be logging on just to see if I'm live. Because the app won't tell you. Surely not. I don't know what her problem is. I never did nothing to the algorithm. We used to be cool. But we gonna do what we gotta do. Regardless. Each and every time. Alright. Now I'm going in with the 
uh, sienna brown in those darker areas and doing that same technique more pressure more coverage and lighten it as we blend and i'm just dragging this into the shadows and alternating colors as i blend so we get those nice smooth transitions and I like to use circular motions smaller circular motions for tighter areas and then I just make them broader for bigger areas okay blend 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 yeah, get your coloring book out. Go ahead. Color with me. I've seen some coconuts in the club who've been coloring at the same time as me, and I'm starting to get confused. I'm like, did I color this or did you color this? Okay? Y'all are getting real good. I might be able to take a little break and let some of y'all come on here. All right? Might have full coverage. Get y'all up in here coloring. Look, uh, we all start as beginners. Don't even worry about it. We all start as beginners. And you got to start somewhere. You got to. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Just start. <laughs> yes tell your son i did draw too and thank you i decided to start art when i was about 10 years old that was when i was like i'm gonna take art seriously um but i've been creating and making art forever before i go walk <laughs> Yeah, coloring should be fun. I understand where the anxiety comes from. Um, so that's usually a sign to a bigger issue. Um, and coloring could be a gateway for you figuring out what that root cause of your anxiety is. Because the coloring itself is not the root cause of your anxiety. Um, there's something else that's stimulating that. And by coloring and playing... And giving yourself permission to just let loose um, can help you unlock some of that. That's what I've come to realize. So definitely explore that if you find that coloring brings you more anxiety than peace. Um, there's definitely something underlying there that's worth exploring, you know. I, I make my coloring pages. These are my coloring books. Um, this is Coloring with Coco Volume 2. This is the holiday edition. Okay. This is very Leo energy, this page. Where she just put a big ball on her head and said, Merry Christmas. Your gift has arrived. It's me. So I love that for her. Stunen. I think coloring anxiety comes from childhood with the notion we have to color within the lines. Yeah, I think that there's a lot of things that it can stem from. I think there's decision fatigue. I think it could be commitment issues. I think it could be um, comparison. You feel like you're not good enough. Um, you are worried you're going to ruin it. Um, afraid to start. I think it could 
there's a lot of different things that can pop up and be blockers for you when coloring because there's a lot of steps and things to this process that involve a lot of different feelings so you you might just figure out something about yourself when you color patterns to everything so you can play a little game of clue and figure out what's coming from what and next thing you know boom therapy coloring becomes therapy strange yep perfectionism definitely is a thief of joy I've been robbed by perfectionism many times in my life. Um, And now, even like my coloring style has changed because I've gained trust in myself to make it where it's enjoyable for me. Um, I'm not worried about things and I trust that I'll make it, I'll make it come out right by the end. So I'm not worried about coloring outside the lines or... If certain technique doesn't work out the way I thought it was going to, because I'll just fix it. Or I won't. I'll just move on. <laughs> the end of the day, this is a coloring book. Uh, I don't owe this book nothing. So, you release, release, release. Um, I've only colored with company, I want to say twice. I did it with my best friend once. And that was really fun. And um, I think that's the like, only, actually, the only time I've colored with company. I color with my son all the time. Um, he ain't company. He, he lives here. But other than that, like, I come up here. I mean, I guess y'all are company. Does that count? <laughs> I color with y'all all the time. Um, I was saying in the live last night that I feel like I have to overcome like my urge to just try and do basic things because I'm on live like I want to I don't want to muffle my creativity um because I feel like I was like starting to get a little drab and basic which I think is what inspired that sweater last night um because I, I still want to be able to create and have that freedom. But having hundreds of people watch you while you do it, you know, sometimes that gets a little overwhelming. You just want to stick to the basics <laughs> to avoid uh, any kind of unpleasant discourse when you're just really trying to create. When you're doing it by yourself, you're more likely to be adventurous because like anything that I do where I'm like okay this is the first step you know trust the process as soon as I take it they're like um this is ugly um this is messy um this is this and I'm a child please I beg I know what I'm doing okay y'all backseat coloring right now just trust me I'm about to take us somewhere nice um a few times of that you're just like whatever forget it I'm going to just stick to the basics, you know. So. These have a softer core than Crayola, but they're not like soft, soft core. (laughs) Exactly. And then the time where I let the chat steer, Okay. Even if I see we head for a brick wall, I just be holding it down, be riding with y'all, okay? And then as soon as I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take the lead. Here they go. Like what? I didn't say nothing when you had us doing tie dye denim eyelashes. I just drew it like you said, and now I'm I'm taking it too far. Okay, <laughs> okay. Become all all types of ideas. 
I'm like, let me foster their creativity and show them. Even though I know how this is going to turn out, this this is the only way they're going to learn. And then I come in and I color some flower purple. And they're like, what? what are you doing? It's like, it's, it's just a purple sunflower. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> okay. Forget it. Y'all, you know what I realized? Prismacolor. Look at this. They call this cream. Am I bugging? This don't look yellow to you. But I was like, I'm going to test it out and see if maybe the barrel just looks yellow. But, uh, well, well, <laughs> that's yellow. <laughs> Let's see. Because you know how I feel about the can dash, okay? Let's see. One of y'all ain't no diva. Let's see who it is. Hmm. This is yellow. Is it? It might be cream. It might be cream. Hold up now. Wait a minute. Let me let me get my Karen Dash out. Alright, let me you know I got 85 stacks of color pencils over here. There's so many comments. There's so many. I don't want to drop this in your ear because it will be loud. It'll be loud in my ear too. All right. I'm using Prismacolor, but I'm about to break out the Karen Dash. Isn't that heavenly? I know y'all felt that when I just took that out. All right. How am I supposed to? They don't care that I got these long nails. They say it. Figure it out. Don't don't do me like this. What? Oh, I was supposed to take the whole. <laughs> I was supposed to take this whole thing out, so I didn't have to do that with my nails. Now this. This is the real cream. Okay. <laughs> Ky, I heard I heard that that comment. That that heavenly eye. Oh damn! Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I was trying not to do that. Okay, so let me put this back. This is so ghetto. Oh my god! Get together, girl. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Let's put that back over here. Now, this a cream, okay? This a cream. So I'm gonna use this on the other side and see what they talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and it ain't that much different, y'all. So. <laughs> I don't know. For this one to cost three times as much as this one, I don't, I don't really care how it looks as a pencil. But when I put it on here, the creams are creaming. The creams are creaming. So I don't know. Olivia, I know the skin is brown, but I'm saying... They're, they look the same on the brown skin. They're both on the brown skin, babe. I'm trying to figure out if this one is truly more yellow than this one, and it's not. It just looks like it is. But once you actually put this thing down, it ain't $3 difference. The yellow is loud to you. Y'all are bugging. Mm. 
You think this one looks like it's three times more than this one? Mm -mm. It ain't that damn different. If I did a little test and I said, okay, I'm going to use this one and this one, y'all wouldn't know. I do sell it. I do sell it. You can find it in the link in my bio. I like holding this color pencil because this um, barrel feels like I'm like holding a number two pencil. And I like that. Oop, wiggly. Wiggly tooth alert. That's okay. Because <laughs> there's more where that came from. It's the same for real. Cute, cute, cute. Mm -mm -mm. Why are you muting yourself? What happened? Lightly in here. The yellow's not darker, babe. I'm looking at it in real life. All right. So, I'm trying to figure out what eyeshadow I'm going to do. All the information for the coloring books are on the website because the pages and prices and things vary by book. So you can see all that information on the website, which is linked in my bio. All right. So I want to do a big red bow, but I've already done a rig bit. <laughs> rig bit. See? Now I sound like Michael with the crack knuckers. Um, I already did a big red bow, um, when I colored it digitally. This is the digital version. Um, so, yeah, maybe we could do green. Maybe we could do green. Do I have the right greens? Um, a sage green bow might be hard because of the colors that I have. Okay, Lexi, don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Um, let's see. Sometimes I use reference photos when I'm drawing digitally, but like right now I'm going to use my own digital art as a reference for this one because this bow is kind of tough. I feel like I want to do the bow and then decide the hair color and the eyeshadow color, you know, because um, the bow is the main focus and then everything else are supporting actors. I'm definitely not seeing blue. I'm sorry. That's not popping into my head. My third eye. <laughs> but I can get into the green. I might be able to get into hot pink. You know. I definitely don't want to do a print for the bow. Because the bow is already going to be hard to get it to be like shiny, shiny. Um, there's a lot of things happening in here. And even looking at it right now, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm 
confused looking at it. So I don't want to overcomplicate it. Um, so I'm going to keep it simple and stunning. Simple and stunning. All right. So let's see. Um, because the thing is, like, I can't do like super light colors. Um, I can't do like a pastel bow or, um, like a super faded bow color because of the limitations of the colors I have. And in order to make it look shiny, I need to have like enough of a run within my collection to make it look shiny and like it's folded onto itself, if that makes sense. Um, so I gotta find, cause in order to make it look shiny, it has to have like lots of area of contrast and you can't really get that contrast with super light colors. So that's what I, oops, sorry for that loud noise. I'm thinking hot pink is the direction I'm gonna go in. Um, so I'm just picking the colors right now to see if I can make it happen and if it will look the way I want it to look with the colors that I have in my collection. <laughs> Brie, denim is always a good choice. When in doubt, denim. I think we've learned that at this point. So I don't even know why I'm sitting here debating <laughs> is denim okay so I'm just trying to see I'm looking for like a good mid-tone pink and I'm not seeing it and that's my main concern I'm swatching on the side. I don't want to swatch in front of y'all because then you guys are going to start uh, acting crazy. And I don't want that. I don't want crazy. Alright. Let's see. This might be a good one. With this on top and this okay this might be the order of that and then there's also always colored pencil <laughs> now you want to make a denim bone real life I urge you to and share it with me I want to see I insist that you do that. Alright. Rose pink. And then is she self-taught? Kinda. <laughs> Sorta. Uh, I feel like if Kylie Jenner could call herself a self-made billionaire, then I could call myself a self-taught artist. <laughs> I went to school for fashion design, so I took art classes, um, but illustration and everything, um, I feel like I've mostly taught myself, you know, so I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that. That's too light. I need like a middle pink. Can y'all stop it? A hoo hoo. Why are you giving me all the same pink in different names? Right, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just make it do. I'm gonna do the best I can with what we got. All right, it's time to get to work. Am I scared? I don't know. We already got the color for the bow. We already got it. Sheesh, I'm scared. I'm gonna do it piece by piece until it's done. Not me already looking scared. Let's 
let's just get into it. First, the first stroke is down. Here we go, y'all. Buckle up. All right. So this is my mid-tone that I'm going to add shadows and highlights on top of. Always start with your mid-tone. Okay, coconuts. Pay attention. It's going to go quick. And when I say quick, I mean slow as hell because I'm already confused. But the point is, pay attention. Okay. Now, I'm going to go and I'm going to add some streaks of medium shadow. Not too much darker. But a little bit darker. And we don't need to be super neat because this is all going to be pink by the end of it. Okay. It's sort of making sense to me. And... The colors I'm using, sorry, I forgot to tell you. I'm using Rose Pink, which is R23, Secura Pink, okay, Secura, RV070, and Apricot Pink is what I'm about to use right now. Okay, and this is going to be a little bit darker. And... to make it look a little hot pink. Okay. And I'm also going to hit that right in here. This is the loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay. Yes. Christmas in the year of the Barbie movie. I see your vision. I see it. All right, now, this is where I get scared, but I know I gotta do what I gotta do. Let me try this one though, because I gotta go in with like a real deep color. Yeah, this one's better. I was about to go straight to Old Red. You know, Old Red come in, she, she be mad straight off the bat. I need to ease my way in. So now I'm coming in with deep red to deepen because you need high contrast if you want high shine. Okay, remember that. High contrast equals high shine. Just blendy blend. And this is deep red if you missed it. And these are all Ohuhu markers. Okay. And I'm just kind of reinforcing that rounded shape. So I'm curving these lines as I blend. Okay. And you don't want it to be super blended. You don't want it to be like super blurred, I guess you could say. You want it to kind of have like some defined shadows and starkness um, so it doesn't look too smooth. You kind of need that contrast. And this is Old Red. So this is that real strong, all my life I had to fight contrast. And then I'm going to go back with the deep red and blend that one out a little bit. Okay. And I'm definitely going to build up contrast as I go. And then we got to figure out what the counterparts are going to be for the colored pencil. Okay. 
This is a hoo hoo in pink. Not a hoo hoo, girl. Prismacolor color pencil. And I am just, oops. I'm sorry. That was a copyrighted song I didn't want to get, get got. All right. And then come in with this uh, magenta color pencil. Blendy blend, blendy blend. I don't want to use too many like true reds because I want it to read as hot pink. So just being mindful of that. It's getting hot. Nice and hot pink in here. Okay. And then I'm going to take my cream colored pencil and start adding in some of those more blurred highlights. The ones that are there but not as crispy, you know. All right, and then a white prisma color and I'm gonna draw in that real crispy highlights. Concentrate. All right. And one more kind of blurred highlight on this side. Like, I want to see if I can. Nope. All right. I want this one to be a little thicker. I'm using short strokes so that I don't get a little overzealous okay we got one man down uh, let me take I'm just kind of using this one as like my test one so I know the combinations that I want to use so that we can rock and roll our way through you know what I'm saying I'm coming in with Tuscan Red, just deepening up, because what I say about contrast, high shine, high contrast. So we want to make sure that there's separation of what's on top and what's folded under, so that that shine can shine. And this would leave like a kind of... The ribbon above it would leave this kind of shape shadow. So you can see that there's weight on top of it, making it dip down in the middle. Okay. That was the first little ribbon down. 375 more to go. Feel like I worked up a sweat on the brow with that one. Here we go. Hey, girl. Welcome in. Welcome in. I'm glad you made it. Um, I'm going to do the one next to it and just work my way around like this. Counterclockwise. In protest of daylight savings, I will be going counterclockwise. Why are we still moving clocks around in 2023? All right. So I'm going to just basically do all of that again. 
until a new idea comes to me. And the white line means shine. All right. So you got to wait and see. Wait and see. Please. With peace and love. All right. Yeah, these markers are juicy. These are my Ohuhu markers. The color I'm using right now is rose pink. So I'm filling the whole section. And then I'm going to move into secure pink. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I'm going to keep saying it like that. And I'm just going to keep layering. Sakura, you're a little too close to the rose pink. And I feel like I'm adding unnecessary steps. So, for those reasons, it's a no for me. I'm out. So, I'm going to skip Sakura and I'm going to go straight to Apricot. And I'm going to go in. Yeah. I want to be able to feel your presence. I don't want it to be a mystery. I don't want it to be lost on me. All right. Looking good, looking good. Coco Michelle Illustrations, thank you. That's me. I made it myself. Sure did. Okay. Just making my way, making my way. So this one, I kind of wanted to kind of fold this way. Like, I wanted to show, like, there's some flatness on the top, and then it kind of curves right here. When y'all color this page, please don't uh, feel like you have to do all this. I'm, this is what I do for a living. <laughs> you can do a much more peaceful and enjoyable version. You don't have to be stressed doing all this. Just want to put that out there. This is what I do. It's what I do. Okay. So, just moving this this way. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stress it. You skip this page, that's because you're like, hell no. Not this year, baby. Not this year. I'm going to catch you next time, though. All right. Just feather, feather, feather. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Coloring books are $16.95. All information can be found in the link in my bio. I canceled my nail appointment. I canceled it. And I said, text me when Katie's back, please. <laughs> Until then, you won't be seeing me. I bought some uh, of that viral nail glue. It's sold out on Amazon, but Sally's Beauty has it if you're looking. Um, and I'm going to just hold it down. P.O.P. holding it down. Tell my girl Katie, come on. Free my girl Katie from nursing school so she can come do my nails. <laughs> Please release her. Name of app. Am I bugging? Name of app. This real life. What app you talking about? All right. 
<laughs> this is TikTok. No, they weren't talking about my website. That would have made sense if they were, but they unfortunately were. I don't know. I don't know what they thought these was. Okay. Just making my way over. Making my way over. Making my way downtown. That's what I wanted to say. Take a little sippy sip. <laughs> yeah, last night someone said, are you coloring? You know, maybe in the world of AI, these are questions that need to be asked. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe they see something that we don't. You know? I'm not, let me not start straight with that. Let me start in with the pink. They're on to something. It's like the lady who saw something on the plane, you know? Maybe we need to be following their lead. I don't know. I just, I don't like when people ask questions like that. And then when I'm like, what you mean? They disappear. Again, you got to be standing on business. Because now, what, what are we supposed to do? All just wonder for the rest of our lives what you meant by that? <laughs> I'm going to be in the shower, brushing my teeth, making breakfast tomorrow. Like, what app is that? What app is that? It's not right. <laughs> it's not right. You're affecting lives. You're impacting us. We all going to leave here. I still ain't got over the person that said they saw me in the cafe and they were too scared to say hi. Reveal yourself. <laughs> what was I wearing? What street were we on? It's not right. It's not right. <laughs> Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, when I catch you, don't be coming here causing chaos and then going on mute. Where you at? Come back so I can tell you what app this is. I'm going to tell you what app this is. I promise. Thank you for the gift. Cream. Oh, you want to act. You want to act like you too good. Okay, Cream. I got something for you, though. <laughs> I got something for you. Don't play with me. I got options. Um, usually three to four hours to color a page. Depending on what else is happening. How many elements there are. Etc. Etc. Okay. Um, I my favorite medium. I like I love mixed media. So, um, I love how they interact together. It would be marker, color pencil, acrylic paint pen. <laughs> In that order of application. I feel like I'm getting a little sore throat. That's pissing me off because I got things to do. I can't afford to be out here sick. <laughs> Shiny. Okay. 
okay. I'm gonna just clean that line up a little bit with my black color pencil. Add in some hash marks here. That just be making it look more better. Okay. Not what color hair. Please. You see how much bow we got left? Can't think about that. I know somebody grabbed the tussin. Be taking shots of it. I know. I can't even say. Yes, that's a white mini Posca pen. I can't even say. Um, my sore, my throat is getting a little sore. Cause the way my husband went up here with some spicy stuff, that's gonna make three tears come out my left eye. I can't. He be like, take a shot of this. <laughs> I don't want to. He's like, go ahead, <laughs> please, please don't make me. I beg. He don't give a damn. He be coming with oil of oregano, ginger, turmeric, all of it. I'll be scared. If you hear me, I better not call for my sleep. I better not. I'm going to threaten my throat tonight. Don't, don't you dare start coughing in this sleep now. Because he going to wake you up. Mm -mm. He better wake up and take this. It's just a little bit of honey. Honey with poison. Try to kill me. That's what happens when you marry a, a West African, West Indian. It's all the same. Okay. They start brewing stuff. And they be working. That's why I can't even say too much. <laughs> can't say too much. Because uh, they be knowing. Be feeling brand new. Feeling better than I did before I had a sore throat. But it doesn't make it easier. You know my son be running. <laughs> soon as he, here he come with the spoon, he be gone. Pew! Spider-Man mode activated. I be on my Jimmy Neutron. Got a blast. He be chasing us all around the house. Okay? Y'all better come get this medicine. And cut it out. Bunch of big old babies. <laughs> Okay, Michael, you go left, I'll go right. Meet me in the kitchen if you make it out. We're going to be all right. He's just trying to take care of us. But we built different. <laughs> the remedies work every single time. His mom gave us some leaves or something. I don't even know what it is. Let me not say leaves because I don't know what the hell it is. And I don't want to be disrespectful. But it's like based on the position of the moon the night we were born. Some very spiritual, very uh, serious situation that we're supposed to take whenever we're feeling sick. And when I tell you, I feel like my soul is leaving my body anytime I have to take a sip of that. All the illness leaves, and so does my soul. Everything must go. <laughs> it's a closeout sale. Everything must go. And um, it's very serious. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> Oh, skipping my step by a couple hours later. Like, who wants ice cream? Let's go get us a cone. <laughs> like nothing even happened. It's the real stuff. And she does not play. She will call and follow up. Did you, uh... Did you take that? Yes. Yes, I did. 
don't lie about it either. That's you set yourself up. <laughs> don't set yourself up. Mm -mm. Emerald has joined the chat. Welcome. <laughs> thank you, Sophie. Sophie said, you were so good. I just stalked your page. Well, thank you. Thank you kindly. I just want to know why me coloring on the internet gets all the sex bots. What is that? I don't understand that. What kind of pictures are in your coloring book? So if you go to my page, it's the voice. <laughs> if you, they already blocked it. If you go to my page, you can see all the pages that are in my book. Not a kink. Not a kink. Um, yeah, but Kitty, if you go to my page, you can see all the flip throughs of my coloring book. We're making our way through. I've done three out of 600. The white pen is my Posca mini pen. These are acrylic paint pens. And they work very nicely, especially the mini, because it has a finer point to it. Um, the regular ones are a little too thick, and you can't get as detailed. All right, back in with the rose pink. Let's make my way through. You're welcome, you're welcome. This is my base color. This is my mid-tone, okay? I feel like you guys can't see it as shiny as I can. I don't paint. Hey, mama! My sister is in here. Um, I was just talking about how mommy be giving us that strong medicine, the leaves that you boil, and how it takes everything out, <laughs> including your soul, but you be feeling better in about two hours, because I feel a little tickle in my throat, but don't tell her I got a tickle in my throat, because then she going to tell me to take it, and I don't want to take it. All right. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. All right. <laughs> don't take the leaves. I know. It will just knock it out right there. I should. Because I really do have stuff to do. I can't be playing around. So we'll be going to the city this morning. I, I mean, this morning, this weekend to see my mother-in-law actually because so I haven't seen her since she's been back from Ivory Coast so me and Michael need to go down and say hey grandma welcome back so I can't be going down there if I'm not feeling good I don't want to get anybody sick Yeah, it is the change of the season, and this weather is so crazy. It's hot, then it's cold. It's hot, then it's cold. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. boom. I'm not loving. She's from the Ivory Coast, but she lives here. Um, but she went there for a few months to visit, and she is back. Kids do bring stuff back. I've built up quite the immune 
system from this little chicken nugget of mine. Uh, but usually he gets sick first. Like, if as soon as he starts his stuff, I know. I got three to five business days. <laughs> and then it's a wrap for me. It's a wrap for me. Um, so usually I get a little head start. But he's fine. I really and truly don't go anywhere to be getting sick. So somebody brought it to me. I don't go anywhere. Mm, I, I, I go to soccer practice. You know, a little target run. I'll be chilling. Especially Q4. Mm -mm. I can't afford to be outside. I got stuff to do. I'll be in the house. In the house. Why do you think my sister told my mom to say, where are we at? I don't think Awa did. Don't betray me. I know. My son did bring me uh, COVID twice. And he was fine doing backflips off the chair, and I was fighting for my life, okay? He was perfectly fine. He has zero care. He was like, wow, mommy, you're really sick. And then, have the nerve to say, um, mommy, I don't want to come in your room because I don't want to get sick. Excuse me? You don't want to get sick. You got me sick. You tested positive before all of us. Now, now you're going to act like I'm, I'm diseased. Okay. He wearing a mask. You have COVID. I know, but I don't want to get more COVID. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just certain that's not how this works, but okay. Go ahead. Put your mask on. <laughs> Patience. Precisely. Making me feel all bad. And I'm already delirious. I don't feel good. I'm like, did I get him sick? No. Had me confused. See, nothing beats the white press. I don't know. I don't get it. It's just different. All right. Yeah, you do need it. You do. He definitely gets me sick. I'm not first on the list. <laughs> what else? What else is it? That's like parenthood in a nutshell, I guess. You spend hours and hours in painful labor. You give birth to them. You feed them. You clothe them. You take care of them. You love them. They bring home illness. And they say, you're not even my favorite person. <laughs> okay. Sounds good, buddy. Thank you. It's okay. And then, meanwhile, they still your favorite person. Like, right? what the... Now your patience, yeah. Dang. I hope you get better. I 
feel better soon. This is a white Posca pen. It's an acrylic paint marker. We're making our way through, making our way through. I'm gonna definitely come in and add more contrast as we continue, but I'm liking where I'm at right now. Contrast is key, contrast is key. And it looks so much duller on camera, which I hate, but that's okay. In person, it looks very vibrant. It's like jumping off the page right now. But when I look at my camera, it ain't. It ain't jumping, jumping. All right. Yes, Brianna, volume five has arrived today. Love that. Just going section by section. This is actually kind of relaxing. Like just doing like these little geometric shapes. It's kind of a vibe. I don't have to think too hard about it. I'm thinking, but I'm not, you know, overthinking. I'm just doing a bunch of little ombres. It kind of feels like I'm coloring a flower almost. Going back in with apricot pink. I was trying to see what's happening in the chat. You know, when I'm quiet, I'm being nosy. I couldn't figure it out quick enough, so I moved on. All right. I'm going to ombre this in. So this one's kind of tucked behind. Oh, you did the snow one? Ooh, I can't wait to see. <laughs> you sleepy? That's fine. Check back in. We'll be here. We will be here. Oh, I no, no, no. That's not why my throat hurts. I was gonna say I know why my throat hurts because I was crying earlier, but because you know when you've been crying, a good cry, you uh get a little sore throat. But my, I just remember my throat was kind of hurting me before that, so it wasn't that. Don't worry about the crying. I'm a Leo. I'm a big crybaby. Um, I'm a business owner. It's Q4. I'm a mother. I cry uh, nearly daily. So that's not an unusual occurrence. <laughs> that ain't nothing out the ordinary. That's just the day of the life. It's what I do. I love a good cry. Like if you cry and then you take like a nice hot shower. Oh God. <laughs> I just I come out brand new. New me who it is. I'm different now. <laughs> I'm different. Love a good cry. I come from a, I don't know, I want to say my mom is a crier, but she ain't afraid to cry, you know what I'm saying? She'll drop a tear, she'll drop a tear. I will cry anywhere, I'll cry at work, I'll cry in a meeting, I'll cry at the grocery store, I'll cry at the restaurant. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a big old ugly cry. You know, those are reserved. Okay, those are reserved. But, you know, a little, little tear. <laughs> I'm tired of that. Just a little something. 
Oh, you haven't reached the level of healing yet where you're okay with crying. That's interesting. I feel like I need to reach a level of healing where I don't have to cry so much. <laughs> I have the opposite situation. Because I'll tell you. And you cry with a Capricorn. Yeah. You might as well just cry by yourself. Cause he ain't gonna be the one. He gonna patiently wait. Uh, you know he'll give you a little butt back rub. A little all oh, babe don't cry. <laughs> and he's like, okay, yeah. When you're, when whenever you're ready, we can we can talk through whatever is making you cry. <laughs> we can talk right through that. Not you start laughing when people crying. Oh, you and your husband are both Capricorn? What's that like? I'm very interested about that. I don't know um, many like, girl Capricorns, actually. I don't think I know any, personally. Are you guys similar to male Capricorns? Like, are you super serious like my husband? <laughs> I'll be trying Coco. Listen, I don't even really need to be comforted um, when I'm crying. Sometimes I just want somebody to listen to me. But most of the time, I'm straight. I'm just trying to get some steam out and get my frustrations out. And then I'm straight. I don't need... um too much else you know <laughs> sit there awkwardly and listen to you depending on who's crying sometimes I don't really be know what to say um, like if I don't know you that well and you burst into tears in front of me that might make me freeze up real quick because I don't really know what to say. Um, if, like, a family member is crying, I don't know. I don't know. It's situational. It's situational. It depends on, like, how much context I have and, like, what what the subject matter is. Are these happy tears, angry tears, sad tears? mental breakdown because most of the time my tears are a little quick little minty break <laughs> where all of a sudden something just snaps and I'm like okay and then I'm back I don't know it's not a full mental breakdown it's a minty beat you know it's just like a little little sneak peek when I actually have a mental breakdown there's no tears there's nothing I'm stuck But if like if it's grief tears, I'm I'm guaranteed I'm gonna be crying with you, and I don't even mean to, and I tried not to because I don't want it to become like you start comforting me, because that happens. Um, so I really try to hold it down. But grief will get me every time. Grief is gonna get me every time. We gonna be crying together. I'm sorry. I don't care if it's you lost your pet turtle. Um, the tears will flow. It got worse after I, I got pregnant. That's when it really started getting serious. Because when I was pregnant, oh my God. I couldn't even watch TV. The commercials. The commercials. Those holiday commercials had me. Oh God. The Mother's Day commercials. I couldn't take it. Could not take it. Crying 
all the Hallmark movies. Oh my god. Whenever my son sees me cry, he's like, <clears throat> Are you okay, mommy? He starts hitting me with all my lines. <laughs> it's okay, mommy. Pat me on the back. It's okay. It's good to cry. I cry all the time. <laughs> like, thanks, Michael. How do I cry so easily? I just, it just comes out. I don't know. Just be ready. Yeah, I'm sure that will do it to you. When you survive something like that, it's like it puts everything in perspective. For sure. <laughs> Kids just be staying. I love it. I, I feel better after. Sometimes I'm like, I wish I could just cry right now. I would feel much better. Any tips for beginners when using markers, especially or specifically Copic markers? I don't use Copics that often, but they operate very similarly to the Hulu markers. Um, so I would say definitely get used to techniques of um applying more pressure less pressure slow fast just seeing how your marker interacts with your paper see how um how much the ink bleeds like just get really familiar with your markers and how they're interacting um and then i would say layer as much as possible um the more you layer the more depth you're gonna get the more interest you're going to get, you're going to have a lot more, I don't even know, like visual interest if you get a good layering effect. So I like to start with my mid-tones and then I like to add in shadows using darker markers. And then anytime I want to add highlight, it looks really nice to put lighter colored pencils on top of the alcohol markers um, to get that highlighted shiny blended look and those are my fast tips with cocoa alright I feel like I'm getting the hang of this I'm getting into my flow mojo gel drop my water um I saw a mook ask a question where to go can't find it went by too fast for me oh the name of the pencil is the Karen Dash this is how you spell it oh it's reflecting right here these are the new ones and then I also use my Prismacolor still. Mostly Prismacolors here. Okay. I'm going to add my white. I think I saw someone when I was scrolling through ask how I know where the shine is. Because this bow has ribbons folding and going in every which way. Um, I'm thinking of it kind of like wherever the bend of the ribbon would be closest to the viewer um, would catch the most light so like here the bulge I'm kind of following the bulge does that make sense so wherever there would be like a piece of ribbon closer to you um, that's kind of how I'm looking at it I 
Oh, I love that bar. It's so exciting. I hope you enjoy your ohulus. The coloring books can be purchased in the link in my bio, CocoMichelleIllustrations.com. Michelle with one L. Coco Michelle, Michelle. Michelle for my son, Michael. You are welcome. Thank you. Okay. Coming in with my white Posca pen. Alright. Post it on TikTok. Or join the coloring club and then you can post it in the Discord. So we can see what you colored, bro. We want to see. Alright. Alright. Looking good, looking good. Making my way downtown. Alright. You've been dealing with low motivation, so you barely draw anymore. I have time to. Listen. There are seasons where we all experience that same sensation where... Things that usually bring us joy, that excite us, just ain't hitting. Um, that's okay. Um, if you have a desire to, but you're, you feel mentally exhausted by it, or you feel like it's not going to come out the way you want to, try and find like a creative outlet that's maybe not exactly what you normally do, but still gives you that creative space. Until you feel comfortable returning back to it and you're not so um, stressed or triggered by it because sometimes the creativity just, it triggers you, you know, you feel like nothing is turning out right, it's looking uninspired, it feels forced, all of those feelings, um, you know, it's normal, it's normal. I have felt all those things. I'm I'm going through it recently. I'm still kind of like in that season. I'm on my way out. Um, the piece that we did yesterday made me feel really good. I felt like, okay, all right. I'm, I'm getting my little mojo back. Um, okay, I'll definitely check it out once I get off alive. But you go through seasons... Where it's just, you're not feeling it. Um, and that's okay. You'll find your way back home. You will find it. Usually, after I feel like that, I have, like, periods of great enlightenment. <laughs> so use that time to read. Use that time to study. Explore. Go outside, touch some grass, see some art, listen to music, check on your friends, you know, fill your days with things that make you feel good. Okay. So I'm trying to keep getting my markers all mixed up oh god sorry guys 
that just made my brain hurt. A YouTuber artist named Drawing with Waffles. She's pretty well known in the art community. I don't know where she is. I haven't seen her. I haven't checked on her. But I haven't seen her. And I know she had a chronic illness. So I was starting to get a little worried. So if anyone has seen any updates from her. I would like to know. That would be uh, devastating. And I just need to know. You ever just like randomly think about somebody? You're like, where is that YouTuber I used to watch in 2010? <laughs> and you go to check on them, you're like, what the? Where they at? So. Drawing with waffles, but it's instead of with like W I T H, it's W I F F, like taking a whiff of something. Oh, and she was a YouTube artist mostly. I think that's the platform she showed up on most often. Oh, thank you, Jessica. Thank you, thank you. All right. Yeah, I love her art style, too. I learned a lot from drawing with waffles. I think she's the first person I saw use O's. She's the first person I saw use potato brown. That's where my obsession of potato brown came from. Um, the pinned comment is not showing me the full comment. I'm not sure if you ever addressed this, but I have a serious question. Where did you find a red marker? Where did I find a red marker? What do you mean? What red marker? On my screen, it was cutting off the word marker. It was just saying, where'd you find the red? And I was like, what, what is that? But then I went to it and I found it. <laughs> oh, you talking about the red marker that Michael has? I don't got that. These are all pinks. <laughs> don't nobody want that marker. Mm -mm. This is now. Um, a lot of these coloring techniques just came from trial and error. Trying things out, seeing if I like it. I mean, even this, I spent a long time doing this one to see like what my method was going to be. And then I just rinse and repeat it over and over again, you know? So, a lot of it is just trying things, seeing what works, and hoping for the best. And having a plan B, C, D, E, and F in case it pops off. You know, you can only hope. All right. High contrast, high contrast. I already had COVID this season, so I'm going to just go ahead and say it ain't that. But I do feel a tickle in my throat. I do. You remember how Katie diagnosed me and said that my blood pressure medicine, um, I wasn't reacting good to it? <laughs> my nail tech. 
because she just is that girl she be knowing. So I told my doctor. My doctor was like, mm, I don't think that's related. So then I was feeling conflicted because I trust Katie with my life and my nails. And I'm like, um, okay. So I had stopped taking it until I spoke to my doctor. So I started taking it again. And I wonder if that's what's making my throat hurt. Last time it didn't make my throat hurt like this. It made me feel like I had like swollen glands. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on it because I will stop taking it. <laughs> and I will get a second opinion quickly. Quickly. It's all about the self-advocation. I don't want no smoke. And to be honest, my blood pressure, the thing is, is that I was going through an extremely, extremely stressful situation when I had that doctor's appointment and I knew I shouldn't have went because I was like, I know my blood pressure is going to be high because I was very stressed. I was in the middle of a crisis and I take my blood pressure every day and my blood pressure won't even be high like that. So if it's, if it's under a certain number, I don't even take it anyway. Um, so, it is what it is. It says the, the bottle, well, my doctor told me that, like, you could get a dry cough, which I was having. Um, that has pretty much subsided at this point. But... The sore throat and the swollen glands, mm, that wasn't on there. But Katie, the nail tech, who I trust with my life, <laughs> said it was the medication. Therefore, it was the medication. Okay? There's certain people that just be knowing, okay? Katie be knowing. Katie be now and the way she just said it you know people just say things with, with such conviction where you're like I know you're telling the truth I just know you are <laughs> you don't got nothing else to say I believe you um, and I'm going to take care of it <laughs> that's it that's it so I'm going to keep y'all posted though it's a little sussy sus for me. But if it's the medication, that's good because then I could just stop it. And I don't that means I'm not getting sick. <laughs> and I don't have to take any spicy leaves. <laughs> Are you the famous Katie that we speak of? My Katie spells it K-A-T-Y. So that's not her. And she don't really be on social media like that. She's busy creating art and saving lives. And I feel like if Katie ever did join a live, she would make her presence known. Quickly. <laughs> Quickly and immediately. Because she's that girl. And she knows it. But Katie, please, if you see this, call me, Katie. I'll come to your house. What do you want? What do you need? I'll come to the parking lot of the school. It ain't no problem. Just don't leave me. Don't leave me. I know she ain't going anywhere because she owns the salon. <laughs> She'll be back. She ain't going nowhere. Her sister Linda also got hands. So, in a pinch, I will go to Linda, no problem. She know what to do. But Linda has boundaries. Linda, she's not with my nonsense. She was like, yeah, if you want that, you're going to have to wait for Katie. <laughs> you're going to have to wait for Katie for that. Okay, let's do something a little different uh, to hold you over until Katie's back. I can do that. I can do that. 
And be looking, I'll be showing her my reference pictures, and she just look at the picture, she look at me, and she look at the picture, and she look at me. I know what it means. Okay, moving on. How about this one? <laughs> Next. That's fine. It ain't no problem. I get it. You ain't got to tell me twice. And that's okay with me. But I'll be going to the nail salon and just be kiki. <laughs> hey, everybody. Be walking in there like I own the place. Hey, girls. Be bringing gifts, snacks. My people. nail salon is local to me up here it's not in a major city she's a hidden gem she's a hidden gem I've been trying to put everybody on I got off brand markers. Oh, let me read that. I got off brand markers and they dried out in four days. Oh, man. Dang. Sorry about that. Um, who the cost differs based off of what size set you get, what kind you get. If you get the brush tip, they're a little more expensive than the chisel or the bullet nib. Um, so check out they have a tiktok shop they're on amazon look around but they're, they're, not, they're not the cheapest they're not the cheapest but they will last you longer than four days because that would be devastation devastation welcome in shades of coco hey you my sister i'm coco you're Coco. Together we're Coco squared. I know finding a good nail tech. Uh, she's a unicorn. She's a unicorn. Uh, I didn't mean to do that little stray mark, but that's okay. <laughs> it's like finding a good hairstylist, which I have not been able to do since I left Harlem. Um... I've lost so much trust in Albany um, from when I grew up here that I can't even bring myself to go try and find a stylist. <laughs> last time I got my hair done, um, actually that wasn't the last time I got my hair done because I got my hair cut into my little Rihanna cut up here before I went to college. But the time before that, that I went to get, I wanted just like a trim and a washing set. And she set my hair with, like, I don't even know what brand the gel it is. You know the gel. The brown gel. Y'all know what I'm talking about. She set my hair with that. So when she started combing it out, it was just flakes of brown gel all over my t-shirt. All over the floor. My hair was crunchy. It was stiff. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. <laughs> and my mom was over there getting her hair done. And we both got in the car. And we went. <laughs> we went to like some drive through like a Wendy's drive through We just looked at each other and just started crying. <laughs> I was like, no. This ain't right. This is not right. Um, and ever since then, I was like, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't trust anybody. So, at this point in my life, I give myself my own trim. I give myself my own cut, style, wash, press, all of that. Uh, I 
I will fight. I'd rather me do something crazy with my hair than I go and you do something crazy with my hair and I got to pay you. Mm -mm. And I was young. I was like 17 when that happened. And now I just feel like you would have to hear from me. <laughs> I'm not going to know Wendy's drive through and crying. We're going to have to talk this out right now. Um, and I, I just can't. I can't. I have too much going on <laughs> to be arguing with you in a, in a hair salon. I can't do it. And the things that I see on this app, I'm on the uh, hairstylist nightmare side of TikTok. And... It's just reinforcing everything that I already believe, and it's not a good situation. Because I, it, it just couldn't be me. I'm not waiting in the parking lot for two hours. I'm not um, walking in and I see somebody else in your chair. Now I got to sit here. You got me under the dryer for two days. I, I can't. The cancellations of the deposits, the conditions... Y'all want me to show up to my hair appointment with my hair already done. That's what you're telling me. You want me to come and, and have my hair done before I get there. Because the idea of I go to a hair salon and you can't even expect them to wash your hair for you. <laughs> what? That's like first base. What what are we coming into the salon to do where you're not washing my hair first? I'm so confused. Like, y'all come in with all the stipulations, all these rules, and y'all be the main ones late. Be the main ones canceling last minute, but you want to put all these fees and deposits. I'm not the problem. And as a business owner, I get it. I've been burned many times. And there's been times where you feel like you want to retaliate, okay? That's not how this works. <laughs> That's not how business ownership works. You can't take your frustrations out on your on your supporters. That doesn't make any sense. There's certain situations where, unfortunately, you can't let those few rotten apples spoil the whole bunch. And I know it takes a certain level of maturity. That's what comes with being a business owner. Um, and you need to act accordingly. Even like, you know, Keith Lee was out here cooking these Atlanta restaurants. And I just get so pissed off because as a black business owner, I have to fight for my life <laughs> in so many instances. Okay. Okay. To get the same funding, to get the same respect, to get the same access, to get the same exposure. Like, it's not easy, okay? And on top of that, I market to a predominantly black demographic. So, when a customer comes and says to me, like, this is why I don't support black-owned businesses, and it's another black person, that literally feels like a knife in the chest. And it has happened to me multiple times. Where it's like, this is why I don't support black-owned businesses. And that messes me up each and every time. From black woman to black woman, like, you should never fix your lips to say something like that. But then you have, on the other side, these black-owned businesses that are acting like this, that are literally traumatizing the black community, which is why they're coming to my doorstep, where I'm operating an actual highly functioning operation here and we don't play that and we don't do anything to disrespect our customers and now i'm catching that heat because the customers are literally traumatized <laughs> i can't even be mad because the experience that they're getting in all these other areas is is not up to par we have to treat each other better we have to treat each other better please i beg We don't keep this mess. We don't treat other people like that. And I don't like that. At least keep it a buck. You go to a Jamaican restaurant, everybody who walk in that store is bothering them. They keep it 100% every, across the board. No matter who you are, you are aggravating me by being here. And I love you for it. 
Okay? Don't start treating us differently than you would treat anybody else. Your own people. Don't do that. Can't stand that. I got into full-blown arguments with customers. When I first started, there was like, that was the one trigger where I was like, I will never, ever let that slide. I will never let anybody come in here and say, this is why I don't support black-owned business. You're going to have to hear me about that. You're going to have to hear me about that. But now I'm like, these people are traumatized. It's still not okay to say, and I will correct that statement and say, now hold on. <laughs> now hold on. Uh, in the spirit of friendship, let's let's walk that one back. Because uh, at Target be messing up my orders, I never fix myself to say, this is why I don't support white-owned corporations. It's just nonsense. Let's let's take the race out of it and, and figure out what the hell's going on with your situation. So you can get the hell out of here. Okay. So try the local black Cairo. Didn't accept insurance. One hundred fifty dollars. Not nah, going back to my rag for twenty. Yeah. That's that's another issue. That's another issue. Um. Within black business ownership, it's it's so crazy because the pricing is so hard. It's so hard for me to keep my coloring books. Like if you go to the store right now and you you look at coloring books, you could get a coloring book for like five dollars, right? We know that. Um, you can't get my quality coloring book for five dollars but you can go get you a little cheap coloring book really easily i can't get the rates that these companies get i can't get the access to the materials that these companies get the cost of goods is way higher and it's hard to maintain the price but then you know i can justify it i have no issue i'm very transparent about my pricing the cost of my books i have been adding pages to these books each each volume and I've been holding the price okay because it's important to me because I want it to be accessible I want it to be accessible um and if it ever comes a time where the price has to go up we'll have that conversation because I'm trying to deliver a quality product but on the other side you have people who are charging three four five times the market price for no reason and then that makes everybody, it's it's terrible because we're a specific community where the actions of one impact us all. And that's one of those things where it's like, now I have to defend my pricing, even though I know why I'm priced the way I am. Because somebody is out here charging an arm and a leg and it's not giving what it should. If you're going to charge those rates, then the quality needs to be aligned with what you're charging or it's going to be a problem for everybody. And that's the stuff that's stressing me out because it's like, even like watching like the pink sauce and like all this stuff, like it's like, I know a lot of it is because there's a lack of education. There's a lack of funding. There's, there's a whole bunch of disadvantages that come with our community and there's a lot of mistakes that other communities made 200 years ago. And we're, we're now just getting in the game. So I'm always give grace. I'm always give grace. But uh, you got to earn it. You got to earn that grace. You can't be making the same mistakes over and over again. Thank you, Jack and Never. Um, so that that's one of those things within the community that's why it's so important to me like I spent a lot of time and invested a lot of time into trying to create free accessible content about how I started my business things to keep in mind how to be profitable how to work towards quitting your job so you can do your business full time I want to make that education accessible because I learned in real time me being at Macy's for almost 10 years, understanding how to work a business, how to price, how to make a profit, reinvest in the business. I learned all of that in 
the comfort of a six-figure job on someone else's dollar. I didn't have to do it on my own and make mistakes that were going to cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars. I could do it on somebody else's time and somebody else's dollar. <laughs> and now I want to make that information accessible to you and to anyone else who wants to start a creative business. Because if I didn't work at Macy's, I would have been SOL. SOL. But at the same time. Some people don't want it. Scamming culture is like popping. It's very weird to me. Um, I don't get that. So, it is what it is. Oh, thank you so much, Char. Thank you. <laughs> Vaughn said, I tried. Good night. Yeah, the scammers are, I just don't understand how, I don't get it. I feel like I would be so scared, like you just living on the edge. I don't got that in me. That was never, that was never me. <laughs> One thing that was never was me. Be scared as hell. I can't hold water for real. I can't live. My conscience is so strong that it just couldn't be me. So. I <laughs> wish I had the heart to escape. <laughs> they always get caught. Every time. And it ain't, it ain't even worth it. It ain't even worth it. So I'm just... I'm probably only going to do one more of these. And then we'll reconvene. Because it's getting late. Y'all are starting to drop off. I know when the chat start getting quiet, y'all are dropping like flies. Knock that with your mouth open. We see you. We see you. Knock that. Um, what time is it for me? I think it's midnight. Let me see on my iPad. Yeah, it's 12.10. Definitely passed out a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I know y'all be drifting. Honest opinion as a beginner, should I get the Amazon 72 color pencils or invest in Prisma color 72? Get the Amazon. Mm hmm. Yeah, insomniac. I feel like I'm mad too. Because I get off of here, I'll be so tired, and I get off of here, and I'll be wide awake. I can lay in that bed for hours. Look at the time and be like, there's no way three hours has passed. That doesn't even make sense. My brain be trying to catalog everything. I'm like, um, can y'all keep it down? <laughs> trying to get some sleep. Oops. This pencil is crumbly. Yeah, you get that second wind when you get home. The second wind. Coloring books are sixteen ninety five. And the information is on the link of my bio. Yeah, if you Google mini white Pasca, it should tell you where you can get it locally. Um, 
And then, of course, you can get it online. But just Google it and you'll see all the different places I have it. My local Michaels had it, but I'm not sure if, you know, all of them have it. I prefer markers or colored pencils. Don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. If I had to pick one, I don't know. I think I would pick colored pencils. I think I would. Um, like if I really had to, I love markers. But I feel like the colored pencils are what like really take it to that next level for me. Um, and I feel like I just wouldn't get the, the depth. Like, I've seen people do color pencil art, where it's just color pencil, and it's, like, goes so crazy. And I feel like markers, you always need, like, something with it, in my opinion. You know? Pencils alone do take forever. I don't necessarily mind that. I'm very patient when it comes to drawing and coloring. But, and you definitely have to put more elbow grease in it. You gotta work that elbow and that wrist. Be getting tired. But, I just feel like I can get a lot more depth with a color pencil. And I feel like you get more range of colors. Like, a lot of these marker sets I'm noticing is just, like, this repeat of colors. Like, I'm like, okay, I feel like I've seen this color in 85 different caps. I'd be interested to see a marker and a color pencil side-by-side -side comparison. Ooh, interesting. That would be interesting. We can see, we can see. See what that looks like. My hypothesis is that it would be a lot more depth on the side that's using um, color pencil, but the side that's using marker would look smoother and more filled in. You know. I'll be able to get like a lot more blended and gradient looks with color pencils, but the marker side would be like very smooth and flat and it would have a nice appeal to it. You know? Putting me going live earlier was that I was supposed to not stay on live this long. So that's interesting to me how that happens. <laughs> but once I get into it, I don't know. But this is where. This is where we're going to stay for now. Um, is today Thursday? Wow, thank you so much. Is today Thursday? It is Thursday. And I said I'm not going live tomorrow, guys. I feel like this is, this is a rough spot to keep you guys hanging. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I think I'm going to New York City tomorrow, if I'm being honest. Um, so I don't know if I'll even be able to go live, but I'm sorry this is a rough spot to keep you hanging and waiting over the weekend, but 
it's going to be stunning. It's going to be stunning. So make sure that you guys check out if you guys want to keep up like on what I'm doing in the moment. Instagram is more of my like day to day situation. TikTok is more like my lives and then the finished products. So check me out on Instagram if you want to be nosy and see what the tea is. Um, if not, I'll see my coconut club grillies in the discord and the rest of you. I'll see you in my live on Sunday. Okay. Good night. I'll let you know if I'm actually sick or if it's my medication. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. I love you guys and I'll see you on Sunday. 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. Good night.